Hey guys, how's it going? It is Dirty HD, and today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with the Modern Warfare Remastered Edition and Battlefield 1. Now, personally, what they've done by Infinite Warfare, they have not listened to us whatsoever. They basically said um, they're going to shove in the Call of Duty Remastered because they've only like basically realize that they're not going to sell their copies if they don't have a game that we actually want to play now battlefield has been sneaky and i've they have literally listened to the call of duty community to try and take us from call of duty over to battlefield because they have done boots on the ground they have done um, a world war. We wanted a world war game. They've gone back to the world war. They've literally done everything we've asked for, but in their game. So they're hoping we're going over to their game, which I am going to go over to their game. I'm obviously still going to play Call of Duty. I will always play Call of Duty. They've always got my money. I don't know why I do it, but they will always have my money just because I like buying the new Call of Duty games is always how it's been and it's always how I've um, just brought the games. I've always brought the games. Now, Battlefield 1, if you haven't seen the trailer, I'll leave it in um, the description below. Do check it out because it is. It just looks sick. It looks like um, the era between um, Call of Duty World at War and just Modern Warfare. Um, which is pretty cool because it's a world, it looks like to be a world war, I think it's world war one, um, the maps what I've seen in the trailer look like pretty nice, uh, they've got trenches, they've got the old tanks, they've got like old planes like Spitfires and stuff like that, the tanks, um, kind of look like the tanks that were in world at war, which I personally loved because I just thought it brought a new aspect to the game. And I reckon Battlefield's going to be bigger than Call of Duty this year, apart from um, the Modern Warfare um, Remastered. Now, if you can hear that in my voice, I'm sorry. I'm losing my voice. Um, I'd, I've been ill. That's why I haven't uploaded for the past six days, um, because I've just been ill. The week before was just me being a bum, but this week I've been ill, <coughs> excuse me, and I just can't talk like properly and I just would not have been able to record this why I'm trying to record this video because it is big news um, guys I want to know what you guys think so in the comments below uh, let me know whether you're gonna be buying both um, whether you think you'll just be going to battlefield or whether you'll be sticking with Call of Duty uh, let me know what you think about the modern warfare um, remastered edition because I know they're only including 10 maps but they might release the other 10 maps like in DLCs and stuff like that um, so yeah leave it a uh, comment in below just saying what you guys think about this whole topic um, because it is pretty um, crazy how Battlefield have listened to what the COD community wanted from COD and the Call of Duty um, developers they haven't listened at all they said they need to cater for both sides that's why um they did it because the younger generation that's been brought up into exo boosting and thrust and stuff they still want that and us the people that have been brought up in boots on the ground and stuff like that we want boots on the ground we don't care about the exo stuff the exo stuff can go they downplayed it in Black Ops 3, which was good, but now they need to get rid of it completely. If they did Infinite Warfare in space, I wouldn't care because that's the theme. But if they did it in space with boots on the ground, I would not care whatsoever where they did it. But now they're doing it in space, but they're not doing it boots on the ground. They're doing maybe the Black Ops 3 movement, but I still don't really like the Black Ops 3 movement. It was better than Advanced Warfare. But I still prefer to be boots on the ground, no thrust, nothing. Like, I just I just don't like it. Or at least give us an option in Infinite Warfare, how they did in Ghosts, to not use any boosts. Or no, how they did in Advanced Warfare, I think it was, where you could play Classic. So there were no boosts, and you would just run around, and everyone else would run around with you. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave comments in down below. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button. Uh, it motivates me. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Peace.